Hello YouTube, this is just here for Stayway Pigates. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. And finally, in this tutorial, we are going to draw something. We're going to see a, a triangle being created, finally. So before we get there, let me show you what is in here. Uh, as you remember in the last tutorial, I show you how to compile uh, the binary code into uh, the GLSL code into binary code, and this is what these are. That's the fragments and the vertex SPV using the GLSL lang validator. And in this tutorial, I'm, as you can see, I don't even have. I got rid of the the GLSL files. If you want to see where they came from, you can watch my last tutorial. So basically, this. In this directory, there are two binaries that I just show you, the code and the make file. That's it. This is what is going to create the triangle because everything is, as you know, if you've been with me for all these tutorials, everything is in here. And I'm going to show you that now. So it is. And as you can see, it's the same code that we started with, but it's a lot more in it. And I'm going to minimize it so you can see whole functions together. And uh, I know that it's hard to see, but I'll, it's just temporary. So basically, here we're creating the vectors. This is all we've done that in tutorial four, five, eight. We, we show you how to do the the Q families, then the swap chain and struct. We continue. This is where the class is being created. Um, it's got the run that running from the main, initializing the GLFW, starting Vulcan, the main loop, and then clean up. Continue. Here's the GL GLFW windows, the Vulcan instances, all of this stuff you've seen before. But uh, this is no here. We we skipped this one in the last tutorial. The render passes and the sub passes. Um, I uh, we went right into the graphics pipeline because we want to draw something. So I I I I'm sorry that I skip uh, much over the render pass. But if there is something that you want to know more about in detail, you can come here to the Vulcan reference guide, the quick reference guide. And let's say that you want to learn more about render passes because we didn't spend much time on it. And it will tell you here, render pass, begin info on page three and page two. So we go to page three and page two, and there it is, render pass. What is a render pass? Render pass represents a collection of attachments, subpasses, and dependencies between the subpasses, and describes how the attachments are used over the course of the subpasses. So now you know what a render pass is. Uh, it's created by doing the Vulcan create render pass, like we have done with the other one, and this is the struct. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's how this render passes. So let's continue. As we keep going down, we see something that we saw Vulcan image views. You didn't see much about the buffers. We, we skipped buffers also and for buffer commands so if you want to know more about buffers you can go here and go to where is it buffers 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 there you go buffers page five so you go into quick reference guide page five and you'll find buffers 
Buffers represent linear arrays of data which are used for various purposes by binding them to the graphics pipeline via descriptor sets or via certain commands, or by directly specifying them as parameters to certain commands. And it gives you a different how to create them, the create info, how to destroy them, and so on. How, how to use it to with result, the struct for Vulcan buffer view create info, and so on. Okay, so let's continue here. I I pat this is uh, where I wanted to go because it's a big use of semaphores and fences. Uh, when I think of uh, semaphores, I think I'm saying it right. Semaphore is I'm thinking of a. Uh, uh, when I think of the uh, semaphore, I think of a traffic light. I think of a, uh, uh, it tells you stop, green, red means stop, green means go. So it's kind of telling you, uh, you know, signaling what to, when to go, when not to go. But if you really want to know, not, not my interpretation what a semaphore is, but the right interpretation, you can go here and you can see here is Vulcan Semaphore Create Info. And here also under S, there's Semaphore. So on page two. So page two and then page two. So we go to page two and one. let's find out more what they have to say about semaphores and fences and what are the differences. This is our fences. The fence status is always either signal or unsignal. That's uh, why in semaphores, the status is either signal or unsignal. Very similar. Um, that's why I kind of think of it as a traffic light. But uh, I believe fences are set on the GPU and wait on the CPU. And semaphores are set on the GPU and wait on the GPU also, interqueue. I think that's their main difference between the two. They're very similar, but uh, one is it relates CPU to GPU, and one is GPU only. So let's continue here. Control. And then the here is initializing the GLFW window like we did four or five tutorials ago. Uh, let's call it Vulcan. Let's call it let's call it after we waited this long let's call it hello triangle because finally we are going to draw a triangle and then hello triangle and here uh, we went over all of those uh, we skipped the render pass and we skipped the, the buffers and command buffers and and uh, create sync of objects it has to do with synchronization um basically this is where they're being called but if we continue going down one one thing there before i forget you have to destroy defenses and the semaphores after they're being created just like we do with the um, the swap chains and the and the image view and so on and there's a certain order that you have to follow as you can see there's an order that is being followed in, in the destruction of each one of these uh, uh, objects and in these instances so make sure because if you do not follow the order your your application will tend to crash and let's continue here. Here is where the incense. This is, was ancient. That was a long time ago. And as we continue, I want to get to the part of uh, that we didn't do much here. This is the, the viewports. This is the Create Graphics Pipeline. And as you can see, this is all the pipeline. It's, it goes into viewports. Um, and if you, like I said, uh, the shaders, we went into fragment shader, vertex shaders, but we didn't talk much about rasterizers. And if you want to know more, you could always go here. And let's find out where the rasterizers are. And 
there it is rasterization page eight so you want to go into page eight and rasterization is right here it's a basic like seven uh, rasterization how it's done and the bias and so on i'm in in other tutorials uh, coming up we're gonna go the uh, you know dive a little bit deeper into these concepts but for now i just want to draw a, a triangle because you've been waiting all this time and after how many let's see how many lines of code let's after 890 lines of code we are finally finally getting to see a triangle being drawn being created in our window so let's do it let's close this one here clear less and then the make file just always like to show it to you just in case you don't have one ready to go is the binary and the main file throw x and let's just do make executes cleanly creates the binary it used uh, the shaders and now let's just run it and we're gonna finally see something created into our into our window and there's the beautiful triangle is uh, red and it's going to be red and green and blue rgb or you can say bgr <laughs> it's up to you actually i think it's uh it's being created uh I, I think it's rgb but i might be wrong we're using the format for bgr but maybe the ways is render maybe you might know better than me but this is uh, the creation, finally, of the triangle. So this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time with another great tutorial. Take care.